everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today is Anything Can Happen Day, and some cool stuff is happening on the channel, that is for sure. We're opening up a box of 1992 action-packed all Madden team cards. We're doing a uh, sealed box of this. I've had this for... I didn't buy it in 1992. I bought it uh, some years after that, and it was not super expensive, which is why I bought it, because they're really cool cards. If you haven't seen these action-packed all Madden cards before, they're embossed and they're sort of thicker than other cards. They're glossy. They're very, very nice cards. And uh, this set has a lot of Hall of Famers in it. Uh, anybody you can think of from 1992 who is a Hall of Famer is in here. You got, uh, obviously, people like Emmett Smith, Barry Sanders, Steve Young, Lawrence Taylor, Many, many others are uh, in this set. No big rookies in this set because it's a very small set. It is only 55 cards to complete this set. And as you can see, if you look here, you get 24 packs with six cards per pack. So I think we're going to be able to make a set pretty easily out of this box. If I open 17 packs, I did the math on this. I got my abacus out before the episode today and did all of the math on this and... Uh, if I open 17 packs, that's over 100 cards. I think I should be able to make a set pretty easily out of that. And then the extra packs can go on the hopper for dorking with dice, which uh, will be a lot of fun. I certainly uh, enjoy these action-packed all Madden cards. I've opened some of them on dorking with dice, but uh, I don't know if I've opened 1992 version or not. So we're going to get into that. The exciting thing about this is I could pull a 24 karat gold stamped card. Those are pretty rare, but uh, they're pretty awesome too. So hoping that uh, we get one of those today. The thing that I'm going to do that is, because it's anything can happen day, and literally anything can happen on the channel when it is Thursday, the thing that is going to make this pretty cool is I'm going to give away the set. If I can make a set today out of this, I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. That's right. So all I have to do to be eligible to win a set of this is be a subscriber. That's really it. As long as you're a subscriber, you're eligible. You just have to leave a comment letting me know that you would like to win the set. No special hashtags or cross-posting or any of that kind of stuff. I don't know how any of that works, so there's no reason for me to do that. So uh, just leave a comment and uh, let me know you'd like the set. We'll get Mr. Kershaw involved here and open this thing up so we can start opening packs. Again, there are 24 packs in this box and they are six cards per pack. So if I open, I believe you guys can check me on the math here. Why can't I open this? Here we go. If we uh, get 17 of these packs opened, we should have a pretty good shot at making the 55 card set because that'll be over 100 cards. And there's how it looks, just like that. Put uh, John Madden's smiling face back there and he can loom above the proceedings today as he should. I assume this is a checklist. Uh, this is sealed in some way, so I'm going to see what's going on here. This is, uh, looks like some, maybe it's a promotional thing, I'm not really sure. It's the gift and merchandise collection that we can get from Action Pack. We can hop back in our time machine and purchase some attractive Action Packed clothing or watches. Or that looks like, what does that look like? A magic wand, an action packed magic wand, or perhaps some sort of adult entertainment toy. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, that's a pen, I know that. And then there's binders and a clock. You could get a really cool action packed clock or a director's chair. Can you imagine if I actually brought home an action packed director's chair and tried to put it somewhere in my house? My wife would have that in the garbage within like 10 minutes. So. Good luck with that if you uh, ever come across one of those. So let's get into this. Like I said, I want to open at least 17 of these packs and we'll kind of try to make the set as we go along. And then one of you can receive it in the mail. So it's, uh, let's see, we got two, four, six, eight. So this will make 16 and then one more should make 17. So that's what we're going to go with here. I'll put, uh, Mr. Madden over there and park these in the back and then we'll start opening these. Got to clear Mr. Kershaw off the table. As always, practice good knife safety and keep those blades out of the reach of small children and football coaches. A lot of football coaches have been fired from uh, their positions over the last week or two. And uh, Bill Belichick's future in the NFL, well, he may not have one. We'll see how that goes. Well, this is uh, John Daly, the golfer. 
wow, that, that is something that I did not even know was in here. John Daly, the golfer. So if you collect golf cards for some reason, a non-sport card, in my opinion, then uh, you might be excited about that. I guess I'll use him to sort of show you what these cards look like. They're a little bit sticky, but they're, there's no ink loss or anything like that. They're not that sticky. Anyway, you can see, as it comes into focus, you'll see it even better, that these are embossed, these are sort of raised, and the player is glossy while the background is sort of a matte finish. And uh, the backs are quite nice too. They have a different photo than the front, which I always approve of. And then they also have a, a play here that um, I guess John Daly doesn't explain that at all, <laughs> but uh, there you go. The back is actually, as I recall, and I could be wrong about this, but the back is actually written supposedly by John Madden, which w is pretty cool. Uh, you can see they, I'll put this in up close so you can maybe even read it if you want to, but it's, uh, it's quoted uh, right up on the back is in quotes. And in this case, he's talking about how Pat Summerall also announces for golf and maybe that's why they included John Daly. That's kind of weird to see him there. Anyway, I'm going to do five or six different stacks to kind of try to make this set as we go along. Joe Jacoby here, who uh, I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame or not, but he was a very good offensive lineman for the Washington football team back then. We got Fred Barnett from the Eagles, and then we got the All Madden Team Trophy. That's pretty sweet. I certainly like to see that. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. That's a really cool card. What's on the back of that? Well, it's John Madden's smiling face, of course, on the back of that. And Steve Tasker, really good safety for the Bills and Jerry Ball. So uh, that's 14. We got 50 here. goes over there. We got uh, what is this? 50 there as well. And there's the single digits. Go over there. And this is uh, 39, so we need room for 20s and 40s there. Let's get to our next pack. I'll try to go through these a little faster than I did that first pack, unless we hit something really big. I assume, I've never hit a 14 karat gold card out of these, but I assume if I do, the card will have some sort of signifier on there telling me, oh, hey, you've got a really special card here. Uh, Wilbur Marshall there, and Jerry Rice. That's a big Hall of Fame pull right there, Jerry Rice. We got uh, Reggie White, another Hall of Famer. And Clyde Simmons, also from the Eagles at that point. John Elliott, the offensive lineman for the Giants. And John Taylor, the great wide receiver for the 49ers. So let's see what else we have here. Here's a, another 30. Here's a 40. Here's a 19, 18, and 8 goes single digit over there. We go to our next pack. I've never tried to actually make a set as I have opened cards before. So this is a new experience for me, and I hope it's not irritating for you guys to kind of experience this along with me. Art Monk leads off this back Hall of Famer right there for sure. Another Washington uh, footballer there, Gary Clark. Kevin Butler follows him and Tom Waddle. We got two two uh, Washington players and two Chicago players in a row. Chuck Cecil, who I really don't remember to be quite honest with you. And then another Washington football team player there, Daryl Green, who I think is a Hall of Famer. Maybe one of you uh, Washington fans will be able to tell me if that's true. I think of him as being one of the uh, all-time greats at that position. A lot of 40s in that uh, pack, oddly enough. So let's go to our next pack and continue building this set that one of you will receive in the mail if you so desire to receive it. Now there's going to be doubles. We're going to start getting doubles here. Reggie White is on top of this uh, pack, which is why I say that. Get these in focus. There it is, Reggie White. And then you got Thurman Thomas. That's a sweet one there. like to see that. And Jay Hilgenberg, who uh, for a long time was a center for the Bears. He played for quite a few years. Steve Tasker again. We have seen him before, which is why I want to get 100 cards to work with and see if we can make that set happen. There's Bill Bates, who uh, looks like he is just yelling at the top of his lungs. Uh, what's going on there? Why, he, why does he have the ball? He's a tackle. He should not have the ball. Cornelius Bennett, another all-time great there, certainly in the Hall of Famer. So we got, uh, and this is in the 30s. And then uh, we go 19... 35 and 40 and 50 there. We go to our next pack. Hopefully I can keep these stacks straight and orderly. Otherwise we're going to have them start to bleed into the other ones. And then I will get very confused because if you watch the channel, you know that numbers often confuse me. How's this oriented? And another Reggie White. What? What is going on here? That's three Reggie Whites we've pulled out of three packs in a row. That cannot stand. Another Thurman Thomas. Another Hilgenberg. 
there's Steve Tasker again and Bill Bates yelling and Cornelius Bennett. So that was pretty much a complete copy. So that one is not even going to go in the mix because that would just uh, make things more difficult when I try to collate these at the end. We don't even want to put those in there. I'll see if I can pull out the doubles as I go through, but I'm sure that I will start to lose track as we open more cards. That is not a double. That is Jim Latchy from the Washington football team. A lot of them in here. Nate Newton. I haven't seen that one either, so that's nice. We want more and more of that. And there's Robert Del Pino, who, uh, honestly, I don't remember him that well. Thurman Thomas, we have seen. Mark Rippon, we have not. And Joe Jacoby, we have seen. So we got four out of there that I know we have not seen. More and more, I tell you, I've never seen a set with so many Washington football players in it, as opposed to uh, other teams. It's kind of weird. But uh, maybe that's just, you know, Madden thought that the Washington football team, something about them that really embodied the spirit of the uh, the All Madden Award that he liked to give out back then. So we start off here with Clay Matthews, really good player in the uh, linebacker position. We have not pulled that one yet, so that's nice. Eric Allen and Howard Ballard, whose name rhymes and who I do not remember, an offensive lineman for the Bills. Lomas Brown, I remember. He was a very good lineman. Elvis Patterson and Jesse Sapulo. All of those are new ones for us in the set, so that's pretty cool. Sort those into their numerical piles and move on to our next pack as quickly as possible. 20 and 30 there. Go to our next pack. We're doing pretty well, I think, and uh, so far we have gotten doubles, but I don't think it's been a crazy amount. So let's see how we do out of this pack. John Daly greets us at the top of this pack, so this whole thing could be... Uh, Hopefully the collation is different, but this whole thing could be another uh, duplicate pack. Let's see how we do here. Daly and Joe Jacoby, we've definitely got him. Fred Barnett, we've got. There's the Trophy, Tasker, and Jerry Ball. We've gotten all of those, so that was a full duplicate pack there, which, you know, it's only a 55-card set, so I, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that the collation is, you know, pretty, pretty common throughout uh, the packs. If you get the top card, then you're going to get all the rest. So we start off here with Art Monk. We had a pack that started with him, Gary Clark, Kevin Butler, Tom Waddle. Yeah, this is uh, a total duplicate to that one. So that's going to, maybe I'll be able to make close to two sets out of this. Who knows? But uh, definitely going to give away one set if we can make it. And I, I think we should be able to. This pack looks like a new one here. We start off with Ricky Jackson, the uh, very good linebacker for the Saints. Get this in focus for you so you can see that. Then we got uh, Barry Sanders. There's a big one. Definitely want that one in the set. And Jay Hilgenberg again. We have seen you before, sir. Bill Kramer is a new one. Or Eric Kramer, rather. Eric Kramer, I believe, also played for the Vikings. There he is with the Lions. David Fulcher and Fred Barnett. I believe we have seen him before as well. So that one was kind of a mixed bag there. We got some duplicates and some not. 2 goes down there, and 25 goes there. Continue making our way through this. If you're enjoying the content today, I really would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. It does a lot of great things for the channel, and uh, I certainly appreciate it a lot. So thank you so much if you can do that. Once again, I'm giving away a set if I can make it. So Okay, what we have here, we start off with Bill Bates, who we have definitely seen his screeching face before. Loomis Brown, I believe we've seen, but Will Wolford we have not seen, so that's a new one. That's good to see. We've seen the trophy before. Steve Tasker often follows the trophy, and there's Howard Ballard, whose name rhymes. We've got one out of there that I know we did not have, or at least I don't think we had. So this pack, getting down here, we've got, uh, got five packs left after this one, so may need to dip into the box if uh, we come out where I'm feeling like we're, we're still short or we start to make the set and we're definitely not there. This looks like a good pack, though. I don't recognize this card. It is Pat Swilling, good linebacker for the Saints. And Clay Matthews, we have seen you, sir. Seth Joyner, we have not seen, so that's a good one. Eric Allen, we have seen. Emmett Smith, that's an important one. Definitely need that for the set. And Ronnie Lott, another Hall of Famer in there. Certainly need him as well. So we got four cards that are new to us and we'll go into the set that is great all in the 20s and 30s go to our next pack i think i'll see how i do after these last five packs and if we're close enough to the set then uh we'll be done got jesse sapolo who i i know that we have seen that card before so that doesn't go there jim mcmahon with the eagles 
That is unusual. I don't, I don't know that I've ever seen a Jim McMahon with the Eagles card. I've seen with the Bears and maybe a couple other teams, but not with the Eagles that I remember. And that's a new one for sure. Jerome Brown, also a new one. A lot of Saints in here as well. Chris Spielman, excellent linebacker. And the Fridge, William Perry. Got to see that. That is awesome. And Anthony Munoz, one of the best offensive linemen to ever play the game. So only one duplicate out of there. So that's pretty sweet. Put that in 11. And then 30... More teens and a single there. All right, that was a that was a good pack. We got five cards out of there that we needed for the set. Looks like we have four cards in the 50s. We need a couple more to go there. So hopefully these last few packs will provide what we need there. We start off here with Jesse Sapolo again. We've seen him a lot. Jim McMahon. This could be a total duplicate of the pack we just opened. It sure looks like it is. And there you go. So that's. No use to us in terms of making the set that one of you will stake your claim to and receive in the mail from me at some point. All right, let's see. We got Pat Swilling here. I think we've seen him before. I'm pretty sure about that. Clay Matthews. Yeah, I think this could be another all... Uh, here's another Emmett Smith and another Ronnie Lott. That was all duplicates, unfortunately. Maybe we have to open the whole box. I would hope not. I'd like to have at least a few packs left over to uh, open for dorking with dice. I would be uh, disappointed. This one has John Daly again, <laughs> which, uh, ah, man. Oh, okay. Well, we got uh, Michael Irvin after him, and he is a, a Hall of Famer and a card we have not seen yet. There's Michael Irvin. And so that's a new one for us. And Greg Minuski, I think, is also a new one for us. So that's nice. Lomas Brown, I can't remember if we've seen that or not. Steve Tasker, we've definitely seen several times. And Gary Clark, I know we've seen. I think we've seen Lomas Brown, but I'm going to sort him in there just to be sure, because I don't want to miss one. That's a 40, and that's a 40 as well. So uh, let's get this last pack here opened, and then uh, maybe we will assess where we are with the set. I feel like the, the 30 stack is pretty tall, and the 40 stack is pretty tall, but some of these others I think definitely need a little help. we got uh, Clay Matthews, who we've definitely seen before. That is not a new one. Eric Allen as well. Howard Ballard, we've seen quite a few times here, and Lomas Brown. Elvis Patterson, I think we've seen, and Jesse Sapolo, I know we've seen. So those are all dupes. So let's see where we are with this. I know we're missing some in the 50s because there are only four cards here, and one of them is a dupe. So we got 50, 51, and 52. Let's see how we are in the 40s. There's 41. Do we have a 40? Yeah, we've got a 40 there, and 41. This is very boring for you, I'm sure, because uh, set building is kind of one of those things that is more of a solitary endeavor and not really something that uh, makes for good entertainment. But I do have good news. We have all of the cards from the 40s, so that's pretty awesome. We may have all of the cards from the 30s, too. This is a pretty tall stack, and it feels like. So we got 30 there, looking for 31, and I do not see it. That's a shame. All right, so we're missing 30. Oh, no, there it is, 31. We do have it. There's 32. So this one looks pretty good to me, just sorting through here. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So we have all of the 40s and all of the 30s. That's awesome. Uh, I don't think that we have all of the 20s. It just doesn't feel like we have that. We got 20, 21, 23. We don't have 22 or 24. We got 25, 26, 27. We don't have 28. So we're missing several from... The 20s, the teens looks a little better than that, though. Bigger stack here. 10 and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ah, no 17. Dupes of the 19, but no 17s. We're missing one from there. And then uh, see what our single digits look like here. Hard for me to tell how many are in here. It feels pretty good terms of uh, how many. We've got one, two, and three right off the bat. That's a good sign. Four, five, six, seven right there. We need eight and nine, and we got it. So that's awesome. So we're missing a couple of cards from the 50s, one from the teens, and a couple from the 20s. So we're going to open a few more packs here and see if we can pull those and complete this set for one of you to add to your collection. That is my goal with this rip today, is get one of these sets for you guys. I'd also like to get a 14 karat gold card. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, Wilbur Marshall, I don't remember if we have him or not. Jerry Rice, I know we pulled that. Reggie White, we did. And Clyde Simmons, I don't remember that one. John Elliott, I know we pulled. And John Taylor, we pulled as well. So we'll open a few more of these packs and then uh, see 
if any of the cards we pull make the set, uh, would really like to preserve a couple of these packs for dorking with dice, but in order to make the set that may not happen. This one is kind of bricky. Lomas Brown starts off. I know we have him. Michael Irvin we certainly have. Benny Blades. I don't remember getting that one, so that's a pretty good one there. That is a little stuck to behind him. Will Wolford we have. Bill Bates we have many times over. And Howard Ballard falls into that category as well. Let's grab a couple more out of that box and see if we can get some other cards that we have not yet gotten. All right, we got Elvis Patterson starting this one off. I know we have him, but I don't remember him starting off. Greg Minuski, I believe we have as well. Uh, Ricky Dixon, I don't think we have. That's one that uh, I don't remember seeing that one. But that there, Charles Mann, I don't think we have. That one has no name on the bottom, so that's pretty sweet. That's a Cornelius Bennett, who we already have, but uh, that is an error card, and you know how I feel about misprints and error cards, so that one is one that Card Wolf will be adding to his collection. Neil Anderson, I don't think we had either, so let's see how we are now. We got a couple from the teens and a couple from the 20s. That's pretty awesome. More from the 20s there, another for the teens, and that is 18, which I think is the card we needed. That's a 35, so we do not need that. So let's see. No, 18 we did not need. 17 is what we needed, and we pulled it, so we are done now with the teens as well. So I'll put that over here. So that's great, and that's a dupe. And then we have a couple more from the 20s. Let's see if we can fill out this one. We got 22, which I know we needed. 24 we also needed, as I recall. And there's 25, 26, 27, and 28. So that's sweet as well. The 20s are done. So all we need, I think, I think this is done. All we need are cards from the 50s at this point. And uh, no, there's six, seven, eight, nine. We got two sevens in there. I don't know how we did that. That's not what we want. But yeah, that one is done too. So I'm going to put that under the teens. So that's great. Uh, we're actually pretty set here. We just need a couple of cards from the 50s and that will do it. Um, open this one. That would fold out and see if it has them in there. Getting down to it, though, and we have, uh, looks like three packs left in the box. So, uh, I don't know. You may, you may be getting an incomplete set, but that also means that in the uh, big stack of doubles, which you cannot see, that means I could give away two of these. Minuski, Ricky Dixon, Charles Mann, Cornelius Bennett, and Neil Anderson. We have all of those, I'm quite certain. So we'll do one more pack from this box. I'm going to do the bottom pack and see if that makes a difference, and then I'm going to hang on to those two packs. We're dorking with dice. Hopefully, this pack will have those two cards from the 50s that we need very much. So we got uh, Jim Latchy. I know we've pulled him before. And Nate Newton, we have not pulled. That, that I don't believe I've seen Nate Newton. So that's a good one. And Robert Del Pino, I think we've pulled that. I'm not sure. Thurman Thomas, Mark Rippon, and Joe Jacoby, we have. So hopefully those two guys I just pulled are from the 50s. They are not. He's 12 and he's 29. So... That's just my faulty memory. So what is going to happen here, unfortunately, is that you're going to get an incomplete set that is missing just two cards. I wonder if this actually doesn't go all the way to 55 the way I think it does. Maybe it only goes to 52. I'll have to look that up, but I we have everything up to 52. It seems weird that the last three cards would not have shown up yet. That seems very weird. Uh, and then this is the double stack. So I think what I'm going to do is try to make two two sets out of this. Since I opened almost a whole box, I should be pretty close to that. And uh, I will let you guys leave in the comments if you'd like one of these. And hopefully there will be two to give away, but there will be at least a one that goes all the way up to 52. And I will double check and see why I do not have the last three cards, or what I think are the last three cards in this set. Maybe I got it wrong in my head. In any event, if you want to be part of this contest, just let me know in the comments. Make sure you are a subscriber, and I'll be happy to mail you what I think is a, a full set or, or very close to it. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to make two of these. So there will be two winners. Tomorrow is the deadline. I'm not going to let this run for a long time. I didn't thumbnail it or let anybody know I was doing this. So tomorrow... I will pull the two winners for these cards. Thank you so much for coming by today. I'll see you tomorrow for Dorking with Dice. And as always, happy collecting.